Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nancy Casanova, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a seamless Instagram carousel post. All right, so let's get to it. I'm gonna show you how you can create the carousel post using Canva. So what you wanna do is you wanna start off by going to create a design and then enter the custom size dimensions that you want. For this demonstration purposes, I'm gonna design a carousel post that is the dimensions of a portrait size. So to create the canvas of that size, you're gonna multiply uh, the 1080 um, dimensions by the number of carousel slides that you'd like. I'm gonna choose five, and so 1080 times five is 5,400. And then I'm gonna choose the portrait size dimension for that. And I'm gonna click Design. So Canva's gonna give you this blank space where you can start um, designing your carousel post. Before you move forward, there's an important step that you need to do here. You need to go into rulers and guides and make sure that you see those enabled. Um, and you'll see that these, um, at the top and at the bottom, you see the pixels of where you are. So what we wanna do is we wanna identify the marker of where the 1080 pixel is so that we know where the next slide begins for your carousel. So the first one that you wanna do is the 1080 pixel. So you wanna just slide it from the left to the right and hover it over the 1080 pixel. It, and you'll notice that it says 1078. I'm just gonna zoom in slightly so I can try and get it just a little bit closer. 1080, okay, cool. And then you wanna do it again. So now um, for the second slide, the dimension for that one is gonna be at 2160. So I'm just gonna slide from this side to the left and I'm gonna stop at 2150. Okay, and then as you pan out, you'll see where these breaks are in your carousel slide, which is great. The reason you want to know where there's where there's where where this stops and ends is because you want to see like where is your title in relation to this. Um, uh, where is it that you want to make it really seamless, like a seamless cut of like an image or um, some sort of graphic illustration? So that's why these markers are important. Um, as we start designing this. So perhaps the first thing you wanna do is you wanna add in your titles, right, of what your post might be. So you can type this in and then um, begin adding in your title. So And then um, we can also design, add in design elements. So. I'm gonna say, like, say at the end, you wanna add in your photo, you can do that. And then, you know, just position that that way. And then you can add in your place text, like hold, placeholder text. Minimalist flowers. There's different design elements that you can add in. I'm gonna go with something like these um, flowers. I'm gonna go in and um, drop in something here. And then when you have your images, you can drag them in here. You can put like your, your name if you'd like. Or whatever call to action it might be. Maybe it's like a link in bio or something like that. Or you could say like sign up for the webinar. You might have a different call to action, but you can put that there. And then you can also change um, the color of the canvas. So let me see, I'm gonna do it like this. And then I might add some design elements like um, some fun doodles.
And so that's an example of how you can create a carousel post. I do have some additional examples. So this is one that I created where I have um, multiple images that I uploaded in here and I have them overlapping so that it looks like a collage. And um, basically I just did like different placeholders for the images and then I added in some elements that would usually be found in like a mood board, like maybe some push pins and then something like doodles of like notes that you're taking that might inspire you. So this is maybe something that I could use for mood boards, color palettes, something that shows my um, branding or creative process. Uh, the other one I created is this one about um, uh, favorite fonts. And so let me zoom in so you can kind of see these. I added in um, like favorite fonts and then each one shows you how it breaks. The other one that I created was this one about um, like branding and I made it look like a bit of like notebook scraps, right? So you'll see that it says brand strategy and then the purple lines of where it breaks. So you see brand strategy, messaging, um, target audience and this is where everything will swipe through. And at the end, it says to read more, um, say for like a link in bio kind of thing. Another way you can do a carousel post is something that shows like books or podcasts, you know, a list of your favorite resources. And so that's how I did one. And hopefully this is giving you some inspiration of different things that you can split up and how a carousel post doesn't have to um, always align by grid by grid. It can sometimes be a little bit messy in this case, right? With photos overlaying, something that looks like a collage. So once you have finalized your carousel graphic, you want to go ahead and download that. Um, you can download it as a JPEG or PNG file, and you want to navigate to the website called Pine Tools where you'll split the image. You want to make sure that you split it into five blocks because that's the number of carousel slides that you have designed. And if you have more, you'll obviously change the number that you want to export. But in this case, there were five, and now you're ready to upload it to Instagram. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like and leave a comment to let me know what you enjoyed the most. If you have any questions or feedback or would like me to expand on another topic in the future, let me know. And until next time, keep creating and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much, everyone.